Mapping a customer journey is a clever way to, most of all, better understand how your company gains and keeps its customers. What drives the client's decision to make a purchase? At what stage do they make up their mind about whether to buy or not? Can you influence their decision at that time? Is your product missing something crucial to a large group of potential customers? These questions and more can be answered with a well-designed customer journey map. In this video, we will see a customer journey feedback board visualized in Kanban Tool. Though Kanban Tool is used primarily for task and process management, it can serve as a means to gather and analyze client feedback and suggestions with ease. Instead of cards moving from the left side of the board to the right, where each column would be a step in a process, this board maps different user experiences and turns the feedback into pain point summary cards, suggestions, and solutions. The individual experience cards get visualized inside their respective columns, while action cards become tasks on different teams' process boards. The goal is to identify the most frequently occurring pain points, barriers to sales of a specific product line. Cards in the initial awareness column relate to customer stories, documenting someone's first interactions with the seller. They provide information on how the client came to know of the company and what details, as well as impressions they had before they made first contact. If the tone and nature of the feedback cannot be determined, it's placed in the neutral experience swim lane. When it's a clearly positive or negative feedback, the card goes to the respective row. At touch points, the Kanban cards detail the client's initial expectations and reaction to the information received. The records get to columns appropriate to how the client contacted the company. Because very often the customer expectations are tied to the specific needs of a given client type. Each color represents another client persona, the most common types of buyers the company interact with. With that visual clue, we can already start to see some patterns in how different personas approach the company. In the pain points section, the customer experience team takes note of the core problem a particular customer has reported and turns it into a concise action card. Cards that make it into this board column are the main point of interest for the team to work on. Non-problem related suggestions for the sales process and information presentation improvements are noted in the suggestions column and are what the marketing team refers to when considering possible ways of presenting the products better. Once a given problem card has been sufficiently analyzed and a fix is identified, the problem card moves into the solutions column. Depending on where the change will apply, in marketing, product design, sales or operations, it is being sent to that particular team's board. Suggestions and feedback cards that are not feasible to action any further, be that due to product and process design or technical limitations, are archived in the non-actionable column. With this process, the customer experience team can gather information about what is going through the customer's minds as they interact with them and make progress in understanding the customer journey. Moreover, by visualizing the customer journey on a Kanban toolboard, the team can easily identify patterns, trends, pain points, and client persona-specific insights. This can help to prioritize improvement ideas and take action to enhance the overall customer experience and increase sales revenue. With Kanban Tools' rich set of highly visual features, you can systematize how you perceive and analyze customer feedback, creating a straightforward way to marry client satisfaction with product development and sales optimization processes, all under one online location. Please click the card on screen for an example of a sales pipeline management flow and a product development board, or use the links in the video description to learn more. You're welcome to try Kanban Tool with your team for free by signing up at kanbantool.com.